Hi everyone, this video will be on G-Codes G84, G82, and G85. For right hand tapping, we can use a G84 for a rigid tapping cycle. This code can be used to go straight down to a desired depth or to peck tap. Similar to other can cycles, you'll need to be at the tapping location before calling up the cycle. Also, for rigid tapping, setting 133 needs to be turned on. Take notice of the two different ways to use the G84 can cycle. For peck tapping, an X or Y location needs to be stated with a Z depth after your G84 original line. This process will show a spot drill and drill and then a peck cycle for a G84. Notice how the spindle will orientate itself before each Z depth with the tap. For our next code, G82, we can use this for counterboring and countersinking. This can cycle is the same as G81, but with a P variable. The P value will be a dwell at a desired depth. We use the dwell variable in order to cut an even surface. Review this slide for, your fo for the formula of calculating your p-value. Lastly, it is very important how you enter your P number. Generally, we want to use milliseconds and we aim for one and a half to two revolutions at our desired depth. These machining operations will consist of a spot drill, drill, and then countersink. For the countersink depth, I'm looking for a diameter of 0.510 the same as our mill block project. To conclude this video, G85 is a can cycle for reaming, or boring in and out with a boring head. This cycle is written the same as a G81, 
but the machine will reverse out of the hole at the programmed feed rate. Using a G85 helps with accuracy on tight tolerance diameters and surface finish. These last machining operations will be spot drilling, drilling, and using a G85 for a reamed hole. Thanks for watching.